everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield Fruit Review. It's a proper one. I'm closer. Today we are going to review Taco Bell's brand spanking new rattlesnake. Damn it. Snake rattlesnake fries. That's You start saying shake, steak. Oh, because we did, if you haven't seen it, we did a preemptive copycat recipe. It's already up. Maybe I'll put a video here. Maybe I won't. I don't know. It depends on how my editing goes. My video card died on me yesterday, so. But I actually almost put on the thumbnail rattlesnack. <laughs> so we get to try the real deal, see how close our copycat version was. I'm guessing ours might be a little bit better. They have a burrito variety, which is just everything thrown into a tortilla shell. And then of course there's the just loaded fries. We're gonna, I think we're gonna go with the loaded fries. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, GoPro's doing okay. No, GoPro, go bye bye. If you look on the app or the website, it'll tell you the calories. And the calories are both are four, ones, the fries are 450 and the burritos 470. You know that the shell is at least 100, 110, maybe even a little bit more. So I'd say a minimum of 100 calories less of the good stuff. So I'd say toss that shell. Next time we see us, we're going to be Taco Bell. So we just went to Taco Bell. They had it, but guess what? They said they're out of the nacho cheese sauce the right way, so we're gonna try to oh God. break road. This is gonna be fun. But we're gonna try to get another location. So, bear with us. Here you have it, folks. That is your Genoa Modified Rattlesnake Fries with steak on it. Oh, no. Did we get silver? We didn't get any silverware. Yeah, we have one. Otherwise, it's going to get real messy. I'll, I'll steal one right now. So it looks like it's mm. cheese sauce, and well, we know what's on it because we made it. Yeah, their fries are way more seasoned up. Than when we made our copycat, we don't season the fries that much. It's just so much sodium. That sauce is good. I mean, do you? I'm not tasting nacho cheese. So we went to this location specifically so we could get the nacho cheese on with the creamy jalapeno. It might be all mixed up, I don't know. I gotta tell you though, color wise, we're spot on. So this is, was it $2.99 here? Yes, I think so. Oh, the websites are $3.29 for some reason. Mm -hmm. Their fries are a lot tangier than I remember them being. If you don't like spicy, you're definitely not gonna like this. Cause you got pickled jalapenos, even if you got it without that. The creamy jalapeno, which I swear to God is essentially cause we made our copycat home. It's basically spicy ranch. Yeah, that's what it tasted like. I'm not the biggest fan of their fries. I think they're okay. The problem when you get loaded fries, they're always gonna be soggy. Yeah. So you have to kind of deal with that. The steak is... Mm. They definitely made it fresh though. No. The, it's, the, it's, it's, it's made fine. I yeah. just don't, I mean, I their steak isn't great. It's fine. I'd want ground beef personally, because their ground beef's good. But I guess they wanted to steak, snake, rattle. I'm enjoying it, I like it. I wouldn't get it again. No, it's fun to try, but I, I wouldn't get it again either. The steak kind of comes across a little bit like uh, the steak you get in a bag. Yeah, it does. Like for salads it's at the grocery store, it's like basically spot onto that. Nacho cheese good, the sauce is good. Personally, I think ours is better. I think so. So, so what are you going to give it? 3.5. 3.5? That's good, 3.5, I agree. It's, I mean, that's, that's actually a, a bit of a low score for us, for Taco Bell. It's just when their base ingredient already is the fries and it's not my favorite thing it's actually probably my least favorite thing in their menu is the fries i know people are like well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. i just don't care for them that much on top of the fact that i don't think the steak is super flavorful my favorite parts are the sauces the sauces are and the good. pickled jalapenos so honestly i would have been happier with creamy jalapeno and the nacho cheese and the pickled jalapenos with just some chips yeah that would work you can keep the steak you can keep the fries and i'll just eat that as, as a as a dip in sauce so hey there you know that's what we think, guys. Let us know what you think. Are you gonna run out and try this? Did you even know these are coming out? They have done no advertising on these whatsoever. You can't even tell that they have it unless you pull all the way up. Yeah, there. there's no signs or nothing right on the actual menu. But anyway, guys, so if you didn't know about it, you know about it now. Possibly know about it yesterday because we did a copycat recipe. So guys, if you wanna know how to make this at home, and honestly, quite a bit better, go ahead and follow this thing right here, even though you can't click the screen because they don't let you do it anymore on YouTube. That's mm -mm. 
YouTube's awesome. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you think. You're gonna run out and try this right now, tomorrow, some other time. What do you think of the fries? Are you with us? Are they not great? Are they the greatest thing ever? And you think we're dumb for thinking <laughs> otherwise. So please subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and families and foes. If you share it with a foe, then you're not gonna be a foe anymore. They'll be your friend. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And until next time. Yeah, I know. Well, did you not notice the speed of which I, I was know. talking at the end there?